Hi, my name is Kim. I'm from San Diego. Uh, my first time in Israel, I was invited to go on this trip by someone I knew in San Diego. She'd known I'd never been. Um, and when she invited me, I shared a special story with her. Um, my father was a Holocaust survivor. I'm first generation American. Um, my father made it out of the camps. And when he died just a few years ago, he left for me a belt. Um, and the story behind the belt is when my dad was in the camps, he was with my grandfather, who I didn't know obviously, and when my father first got to Auschwitz he couldn't hold up his pants, he was only 15, and they said if you can't hold up your pants you can't work, and if you can't work you're going to die. So my grandfather traded a day's ration of bread, um, he traded a day's ration of bread for the belt for my father to hold his pants, and so he had the belt. And so, for obviously so many years, and so I have it. And after the war, he kept the belt. And when he was liberated, he found a cousin and he was on his way. They were coming to, to Israel, to Palestine. That was their journey. And along the way, they ran, they found my grandmother and they ran into her. And so their plans changed. So my dad never made it to Israel with the belt. So this is, so this is just, I'm finishing the journey. The belt is with me in my bag. Um, I've taken it out like just once. It's very, very old and it's fragile. But I, I'm doing this for him. He died three years ago. He has left a legacy even after, you know, the Holocaust. There's me and my two sisters. I think ten grandchildren, nine grandchildren and now ten great-grandchildren. And so we're everywhere and it was just to show that we did it. And so I'm just finishing his journey. This is important for me. I've wanted to do this a long time. And so here I am with the belt. And it's, that's it. It's, ah.